Hi everybody, Adam here. Welcome to our very first Lego room update video. We've recently moved into a new house and we're in the process of updating and remodeling the basement to work with all of our Lego plans that we have. So today my goal is to, to kind of walk you through a tour of the space, talk a little bit about some of the projects that we have planned uh, for this space and then we'll be doing follow-up videos in the coming weeks as we start to work through each of those projects. Uh, let's start off by taking a look first over in the what will become the storage kind of corner area of the room. The As you can see I'm a big fan of the Acro Mills storage containers. Um, really think they work well for sorting out your your Lego collection and making things easy to, to find. So uh, I've you know accumulated quite a few of these over the, the years and looking to get some more here to, to fill out our, our space. Now the plan once the, once the walls are painted is to actually mount these up. And so I'll probably run them fairly close to the ceiling uh, and they will wrap from you know, this short side wall here all the way around and over to um, what is now currently uh, kind of the storage, uh, storage portion of the room for all of our bricks that are packed up. The, you know, coming into uh, a larger space like this from a, uh, a relatively small apartment that we had before, you know, it's gonna give us a lot of opportunities to really spread out a lot more and actually be able to access and see a lot more of our collection, which is really cool. But so in putting these, uh, mounting them up on the wall, uh, probably will leave a gap down on the bottom so that we can put some of these storage containers uh, underneath for overflow or for some of the bigger pieces that uh, won't go nicely into these Acro Mills containers. So that's kind of the plan over here. Uh, and as I mentioned, so, you know, this is how we moved a lot of our collection uh, from our previous apartment here. And I've got videos coming in the next week or two here on um, how each of these containers worked for us, um, you know, and what what worked well, what didn't, some tips on how to, how to move Lego. Um, so keep an eye out for that. Uh, lots of Lots of sorting and reassembly ahead uh, as we move through um, all of these storage containers, but that will be uh, that will be a topic for another video. Now, backing up and looking at the main part of the room here. So one of the one of the big things that we are looking to do with all of this extra space is to set up quite a an expansive Lego City. Um, with a lot of train track running through it. Now I did uh, a video a couple weeks ago on kind of the, the plans for the, the Lego train space at a high level, um, but really looking to, you know, we're gonna build our own tables here, uh, looking to have quite an expansive layout, as I mentioned. I uh, really wanna have, uh, you know, multiple multiple tracks running through so that multiple trains can be running uh, on different tracks at different times. Um, and, you know, so I think that building our own tables here will afford us a lot more control uh, over, you know, the durability and the amount of weight that they can, um, that they can hold, but also to make sure that we can kind of maximize the space and, that we want here. Um, this is kind of the, this is kind of the outer extents of the area that will probably be covered by the uh, the Lego City. Uh, we'll probably go another six feet behind me here um, out, but uh, just kind of getting an initial feel for um, what would be possible in this space and you know how our Lego track holds up against that and what other track might be useful to pick up. And with this too, you know, looking to, we'll probably have, probably have a gap running down the, the middle here of the space just for ease of access, um, rather than solid tables um, throughout the whole thing. 
but you know, I, I really excited to see where where that goes and what we can do with uh, with our city in that in this space. Now we've got this nice big wall over here, and this is where we're looking to put up a number of bookcases to uh, display the completed Lego builds that uh, that won't be going into the city. Uh, so it kind of runs along this wall over here. It's quite a long space, looking to probably have uh, nine bookcases running along there uh, with shelves at varying heights to allow us a lot of opportunity to, um, to have things on display and visible, uh, which will be really nice. And I'm not entirely sure what I want to do with this end wall yet. I could see, uh, you know, putting some Lego mosaics, maybe some some shelves up there. Um, I think there's a lot of opportunities, so we'll kind of see see where things go, but we'll get it painted up first and then kind of see how everything else starts to to take shape and then we'll we'll go from there. Next up, we have the Lego build room and where I do a lot of my videos for the channel. It's really nice to have this separate uh, separate space here for some extra storage and it gives us a chance to to do some building and you know work on projects independent of the the main Lego room. So my son is working on reassembling his Lego Minecraft layout and we are working on putting together a number of uh, sets that were taken apart for the move. Um, so really nice to have this table space in here uh, to kind of spread out and work on projects like that. And then it's nice for me to have my build table and uh, the ability to do my videos here kind of independent of the, the main space as well, but still within uh, relatively close proximity to, you know, if I need extra parts or pieces uh, or I want to go take something and try it out. Uh, on the tracks or on the, you know, in the city, uh, I've got that opportunity. So, you know, really happy with this room here and the space in general. Uh, lots of opportunities too with the wall space in here for extra shelves to display or the ability to put up uh, some, you know, Lego posters or mosaics and stuff on the wall. So, you know, really happy in general with this space uh, and what we're going to be able to do with it here. In addition to the Lego City, I'm also looking forward to having uh, some space over where those bins are for um, probably a table or so that is focused on GBC modules. Uh, I've got several of them, so it'll be nice to have a space where I can have those laid out and, uh, and able to run. So, you know, overall, a lot of projects on the go here. Uh, lots of stuff ahead this week as we get into the, you know, the painting and the bookcases are coming and uh, we start getting materials for the tables. So lots ahead. I highly encourage uh, everybody to subscribe to the channel so that you can kind of follow along with us and uh, you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. If you have suggestions on things that you'd recommend that we try with the space, uh, please leave those in the comments below. Uh, definitely interested to see if people have any, any tips or things that they would like to see us try or do in particular. And, you know, thank you very much for watching uh, and we will see you again next time. Thanks. Bye.